would you look at that? Roblox Doors has updated with the Hotel Plus update, and you know what that means. We end up getting quite a bit of new entities as a surprise within this big update. Do you think you know them all? Well, you better like, subscribe, and let's try and showcase them all. Number one, dupe. Wait, what's going on over here? Why are there two sets or more of doors with different labels on them? And a better question, which door should we even choose? Well, if you decide to pick a door and you get jump scared by a random entity, then congratulations, you just ran into Dupe, one of the newest entities within Roblox doors. How Dupe works is actually relatively straightforward. You have to memorize which room you are in before entering the room and continue to choose in order to continue on within the hotel. The entity does take 30% of your health away if you choose incorrectly, so make sure you remember which room you're in. Some tips you can remember for dealing with dupe is to say each room number out loud as you play as it's easier to keep track of which room you are currently in. You can also see from the distance that there are multiple labeled doors and quickly backtrack a bit in order to recall your current room number. Though if you travel too far into the room, all previous door labels will be burned. For rooms with keys in them, the correct door number should be imprinted on the key which makes it even easier and sometimes rush may actually help you out by going through the correct door for you as well. I actually do appreciate that rush, thanks a lot. All in all, dupe is relatively easy as long as you have good clear memory during your run. Number 2, El Globlino. After finishing up with figure within the library, right at door 52 is when you'll run across the mid-game run shop. And here you'll find several new entities just casually chilling, but the most interesting from the bunch has got to be this little goblin character looking creature sitting on a chair. Well his name is actually El Globlino, and you can interact with him in order to hear certain tips or just hear what's on his mind as well. There's nothing really much to say about the little guy other than he's one of the only entities within the game to actually be able to communicate with players. You all know that the guiding light is the other entity that's able to do so, but I'm sure we'd all love chatting to him during our slow times in our doors runs. Number 3, Bob. Yes, still right within the mid-run game shop, right at door 52, we do have yet another new entity in which El Globlino actually refers to as Bob during their opening prompt. Bob, as we've seen from that old sneak peek picture a while back, is actually a rotted out skeleton that seems to be friends with Globlino. Flies just love to circle around the poor little fella, but what's strange is that he's wearing a hat that is covered by the same slime's texture that Seek and Screech have on their bodies. Did Bob get attacked by those two entities and thus got reduced to nothing but bones? Potentially a big mystery, especially when going forward. Number 4, Jeff. And yes, we can't forget about Jeff also within the mid-run shop. Jeff is the owner of the whole mini store during this point of the game, as you can tell by the sign, and his Whoa. features are interesting to look at, especially within the doors classified files with heightened brightness. This entity has two blue eyes and two spaghetti looking arms coming from it. That's all you can see, as if we go behind the entity, the acid simply stops preventing to show us what Jeff fully looks like out of the shadows. Nothing really more to note other than he's saving up for college with his shop, so make sure you tip him very well. Number 5, Void. Void is definitely quite the interesting entity with Roblox doors, and no, we're not talking about this Void. This entity actually has no shape or structure as it basically resembles just darkness. All Void does is he now replaces Glitch as the sole entity in charge of bringing players lagging back up towards the group once again with a 40% damage penalty against the players. It is unknown why the developers made this switch happen, but we definitely welcome whatever this entity looks like to the family. Number 6, Snare. I bet you haven't heard of this one. Snare is actually a relatively unknown entity that can only be found within rooms 90 to 99. 
If you've ever gotten that far, you probably have seen all those plant traps and whatnot within the ground floor, right? Well, those traps are actually part of Snare's root system, and if you step on them, you will take some damage and get stuck for a couple seconds. What's interesting about Snare, though, is that he cannot kill you at all. Even if you have 3 HP, you'll be left with 1 HP if you fall into their trap, making Snare along with Timothy one of the only entities to take damage but not kill you. You'll also want a flashlight or some type of a light source since there won't be any light sources at all to avoid them. I know they usually say that you should go outside and touch grass, but not this one. Number 7, Rift. Not technically an entity per se, but I guess we'll classify it as one for the video. Essentially what Rift is, it's a blue shaped portal that resides at room 100 and they allow players to turn in their unused items in order to use them on their next run on doors. Quite the useful entity or system, especially since the developers are looking to add in a floor to update in the coming months. So having Rift around teleporting items back and forth is very good. And it also explains that weird void sound at the spawn a while back. We now know that Rift had something to do with that. Number 8, 860. To be honest, 860 isn't really that new since we have seen the entity previously, especially on Creecraft's old livestream. But the developers have finally added this entity into the game as a part of an alternate route. 860, as the name implies, will start to show up around room A-60 and players would have to hide inside lockers in order to get past it. Basically, it's like a clone of Rush, but a way faster version. Number 9, A90. Similar to A60 in the name, but by design, they are two very different entities. A90 is a very scary looking entity that kind of looks like a pixelated skull. They can spawn in around the same time as A60, though the name does imply it usually hangs out around door 90. This entity is similar to Halt, in which a stop sign will briefly flash on the screen, making players suddenly stop with all movement. If players do move, even with their camera, they will take a significant amount of damage, so make sure you keep an eye out for them. Number 10, A120. Formerly known as A200 in the old rooms game created by Nico Rocks, A120 has a very distinctive smile design to it. This entity essentially acts as a version of ambush in this realm, though its speed is a bit slower than the entity that we all know of. Nothing really more to know other than that really. Just hide from them. Number 11, Curious Light. You may be thinking, who the heck is Curious Light? Uh, well, he may as well be the Guiding Light's cousin, especially as he is in its slightly yellow hue. The entity also doesn't really give clear directions or tips, which is also a bit strange. Which entity is your favorite from the bunch? Comment yours down below and take care.